Hey everyone, I've been in California for a little while now. I'm down on the Santa Monica Pier and we've been taking some wicked sticks photos. So what I thought I might do is show you how you can make some web galleries and put them online. Flash galleries, HTML galleries, put them up there. Buy your best photos and put them on your website. So look out, we've got a great episode. We're gonna use Adobe Bridge, we're gonna use Photoshop. We might even show a little bit of InDesign, if you're lucky. Right on. We're going to start this lesson off in Adobe Bridge and we're going to create a on, an online web gallery. So these are a whole bunch of posters that the designers at the Russell Brown at Max conference created. Some fantastic samurai movie posters. We're going to make an online web gallery out of them. A lot of people don't realize that you can do this directly from the new version of Bridge CS4 and it really is very, very simple. The first thing that I'd recommend you do would be right at the very top of screen over here, there's a little, um, I suppose, a, a double dotted line there. And if you drag this across to the left, this reveals a whole bunch of workspaces. Of course, there's a pop down menu as well over here that reveals the workspaces as well. The one that we're looking for is the output module. And when we go ahead and click the output module, Adobe Bridge will actually reshuffle itself, move the panels around and reveal some new uh, kind of features that you may not have seen before. Over on the right hand side, we now have a whole new output tab. This is where we can enter in a whole bunch of information about our gallery and we can choose from a number of different themes. Now I'll let you explore these. Uh, the standard theme is actually a flash gallery. We can also create an HTML style uh, gallery as well. We're just going to use the standard one. Of course, it's a good idea to enter in information about your gallery, uh, what it's all about uh, and add some information in here. You can, of course, put your contact details in, your name, and, of course, copyright info. If I scroll down a little bit further, uh, using the scroll bar on the right-hand side here, you'll notice we can also change the look, the look and feel of the gallery. So we can change the uh, appearance that everything is. Without seeing a version of the final gallery, it's difficult to know uh, what's going on. The hover color is, of course, when you mouse over uh, some areas. They'll, they'll highlight in red and that's what that's all about there and I think that's fine. We can change different transition effects here. I'm going to go ahead and change this to iris just because I'm a bit nutty and that's what I like. I'll move that over and then we can scroll down a little bit further as to where this gallery is going to save. We can go ahead and save it onto the desktop but we can also enter in FTP details and upload those uh, directly to our server with the password and all the rest of it. Now I've already gone ahead and published this one but let me just quickly show you how you do it. So web gallery here, go ahead and hit the preview in the browser. That's just going to store it locally for you so you, you can check it out before you upload it onto your website and it'll just open up in a browser there and there I can see um, I just had the one image selected, there's a full screen button, all the rest of it. Now, as I said, I've already uploaded this one, so let me let me close that. And you can see over here, uh, rather over here, this is my Adobe Web Gallery with all of the posters directly out of Bridge. And all I need to do then is just go ahead and click on them, and that moves us between the pages. Uh, we even have down here a slideshow. Let's go ahead and click the slideshow, and that will load them up into a single window. So if you can see the URL uh, at the top of the screen, you'd like to have a look at this sample, please feel free to go ahead and uh, have a look at that. <clears throat> That's where I've posted these. So I think it's, a, it's probably a good start. Or of course, you can just go to Creative Suite TV. Another type of gallery that's really easy to create is a Photoshop.com gallery. And you can see on my blog here, I have a little widget that's inserted as part of a blog post. And it's just a Photoshop.com gallery with all of the images in there. And I've just cut and paste the Flash um, uh, widget onto my blog. It's a WordPress blog. 
So that's very easy to do. All you need to do is come over to photoshop.com and then upload your images onto here. So you can see these are the recent images and these are different galleries that I've already uploaded. You can create yourself an account on photoshop.com for free and then upload all of your images. So these are these are my albums here and there's a lot of things that you can do and give them star ratings and all the rest of it. If you want to then include that on your blog like I did, there's that little publish button down the bottom. Okay? So you can simply select the publish button here and then we'll get some options. So you can click on the publish or you can even click on the link as well. But hang on a second. And that gives us an embed code here. We copy the embed code to the clipboard and then we can go ahead and paste that into our website. You can see there's a number of different, you know, we can put it on Facebook or we can put it on WordPress and all the rest of it. Okay, so very simple to create uh, web galleries from those applications. The other thing that we could do is create a gallery with a little bit more work using InDesign. We can create a flash gallery. Of course, we've got to get some images in here. So I'll go back to Adobe Bridge and we'll go just back to the Essentials workspace so that we can see all of our images there. Let's just grab a handful of them just by holding the shift key down and we'll file place those in InDesign. So very easy to do this. Then once we've got this in InDesign, we hold down the command shift or the control shift keys and we can draw out a grid this way. And that will actually place all of the images in like so. Very easy to start drawing out like a contact sheet that way and then away we go. The other thing we can do is add a little bit of interactivity to it. I'm just going to create one so it's very easy to see. First of all I'll put a small version of a poster down the bottom and then I'll create a larger version on the page like so. Very simple to do. Then we're going to go ahead and bring the buttons panel out. And we've created buttons before on Creative Suite TV, I think. But we're going to convert these to a button by clicking this small icon down the lower right hand side of the panel. And then this one also. And we're going to call this one large. Very easy to do. This button here we're going to give a rollover state as well so that when we mouse over it, it changes appearance. And on the rollover state, let's do something as simple as add a drop shadow. So when someone mouses over it, the drop shadow will appear. We're also at an action to it. So the action will be when you mouse over this, what happens? Okay, so it'll be event roll over on rollover. Do a show hide button and the button large when we roll over is going to show so you see I click on that icon it shows a little eye then we add another action of roll off and then we add another action there a show hide button and we hide so we click it twice and that chooses to hide it so that this can then be become a gallery and we can have multiple images all one on top of the other. Let's do a quick test. So we'll say export. We're going to choose an SWF file and we'll call it gallery. Put it on the desktop. Save. Press OK. Just assume all of that's going to work. Uh, we'll call up our gallery. There is the image and we roll on. Roll off roll on, roll off. And we've created a web gallery just with one image, but of course we can put multiple images in there straight from InDesign. That's exciting. Thanks for tuning in to Creative Suite TV again. We hope to see you next time.